Hello everyone, welcome back to Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode. Um, it's been about two weeks since I recorded the last video and a lot of stuff has been happening since then. Um, so I'm just going to quickly go through and show you all what I've been doing. Um, yeah, so this is my, my ME system all set up and it's really starting to fill out now. I've got lots and lots of um, dense smart cables running down. Uh, if I was to do this all over again, I think my uh, the main lesson that I got from this was uh, put the, the ME controller in the center of the base rather than at the end uh, because if you look, uh, if, if I if you go down here, this is just so gross. There's like, there's like bits of cable running everywhere and it's like uh, cable anchors to stop things from touching each other and it's just really gross. If I had had to do this all over again, I would put this in the middle so these things would go off in like a star pattern and they wouldn't be trying to all go in the same direction. I have like so many molecular assemblers now, it's not even funny. <laughs> Uh, let's see, can I get back over here? How can I get back over there? I'll just go around this way. Um, and let me put that back there. Oh, I've got random mob drops here. Alright, so... Actually, let me just put those in. Uh, don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Alright, oh, and some zombie. Um, Alright, so we have... Oh, I'll go down there later on. I have some rooms set up here. Um, this is just some random like mechanism machines and some industrial craft machines. Uh, over here I have my kitchen slash the back of my smeltery. <laughs> um, it's it's not really laid out very well. This is my forestry slash uh, empower room. Uh, over here we have some applied energistic stuff, which I think I, this is what I was setting up in the last build in the last video, wasn't it? I can't even remember what I was doing. Um, some random other machines uh, over here we have some more random machines this is nuclear craft this whole thing is to build uh, calcium sulfate which I can't even remember what was used what you use that for now um, this one is the uh, replicator from industrial craft which takes a lot of power to make this UU matter stuff which I was using to build iridium shards and then I never used it again after that I have this, this room here which has a bunch of random, mostly thermal expansion, but some other random stuff too. Basically this is how I build it. Whenever I need a machine, if it doesn't fit in an existing room, I just dig further down and put it in another room. Here I've started to get into Ender.io a bit, so I've got some Ender.io machines and like other random machines which I've built and haven't had a use for. And this was me getting into Thorncraft a little bit, which I haven't done very much with since then. Uh, this is my uh, fishing machine, which I've disconnected because it just makes so much fish. It's not even, <laughs> it's not even funny. It's just like an insane amount of fish. Uh, if you look over here, so I'll get to this stuff in a minute. But my raw fish, oops, I always forget that raw fish. Fourteen thousand raw fish. That's way more than I'll ever need. I've been using the raw fish to make these pizzas. Um, because they have dairy, grain, protein, vegetable as their, like, if you look at the nutrition, that's, that's four out of five things. So that's really handy. Um, I had this last time, um, but I've actually added that lapis light over there so that, uh, even when I turn off these, the, these, uh, regular redstone lamps, um, the mobs will still spawn because it's, uh, the, the lapis lamp doesn't stop them from spawning, but it does mean you can still see them. If I just stand back a little bit, they should start spawning. There we go. I'll turn it off. Yeah. So these are uh, these shuriken, the premium magma slime cobalt steel shuriken. They're not that powerful. Like it's only doing 14 damage, but they are. I have um, unbreakable on them. That's like five, five sheets of whatever the unbreakable thingy was. So that's handy, and they they fire pretty fast. So. They do a lot of damage over like a little bit each time, but they go really fast. Uh, over here, I have my nuclear, uh, no, my what is this? Uh, advanced rocketry stuff that I've been building. So advanced rocketry is like lots of multi-block machines, and obviously rockets. Which um, I'll show you where my rockets are at the moment. They're all up in space for now. 
Uh, over here we have some uh, stuff from Astral Sorcery. So this is this one is mostly I used for um, mostly use this altar for building um, the seeds which are over there. Um, I have some stuff from Botania over here. It's kind of pretty standard stuff for Botania. These are my cloches which I use for uh, growing magical crops. So I've got mostly it's mostly uh, oh, no mystical ac agriculture now, isn't it? Not magical crops. Um, I've got like five things of Infurium seeds and then I have a master infusion stone in here and I like automatically craft them all into the Insanium Essence so that like when I look in here if I go to Essence I have 604 Insanium Essence but when you think about that that's like four Supremiums and then four Supremiums gives you 16 Superiums and then four Superiums gives you uh, so that's like, what was that? 16. And that, this one will give you what? 16 times four, 64 intermediums. And then you get 64 times four, like 256 prudentiums. And then that's what? A thousand inferiums. So each one of these insaniums is a thousand inferiums. So there's a lot of in there. And it's just like, it's way faster to craft it all to insanium and then decraft it into whatever you need in the ME system than having to like use the the master infusion stone to craft it up. It's easy to craft it down. Um, yeah, so that's basically, oh, the other thing is, <laughs> so this machine here, I think there was a bug in um, advanced rocketry where uh, the original recipe called for um, whatever thing you were rolling out and uh, lubricant. So I had built this, um, so I had to go find um, ore using advanced, well, what was it called, advanced petroleum, what was the name of that thing, immersive petroleum. So I had to find petroleum uh, ore, or, no, what is it, crude oil, you can find crude oil and then you stick it in your thingy over here and then you put the crude oil over here into a, this distillery, which is like this massive multi-block structure. And then it distills it into gas, gasoline, and everything else. Gasoline, and uh, I can't remember what else. The other three things. And lubricant. And then uh, we realized, or whoever the mod author was, realized that uh, this machine didn't actually take lubricant. So now I just have like an infant water source down there and everything works. I don't even need the lubricant. Oh, well. Oh, this thing over here. This is my, um, my uh, mob duplicator which currently has an enderman in there. This is how I get my like blizz rods and whatever else that's really hard to find. So I only had to get, like go to the ice. So, whoa, whoa, there's a bit of essence left in there. So if, if you go into the map here, um, I had to use a, a, a biomes of plenty uh, biome finder, which told me where the ice planes were, like all over here. Luckily I have my jetpack now so I can fly over there. I captured one bliss in one of these mob uh, imprisonment tools. So I have a pink slime one, I have an enderman one, and I have a blue slime one, and I have a blizz one. And so you have like a mob duplicator. What is that noise? You have a mob duplicator over there, and you have a mob crusher here. The mob crusher gives you essence and whatever the mobs drop, so blizz and snowballs. Some of the mobs, like the Blizz, they they produce more essence than they take to spawn. So this will just go forever and ever now with the Blizzes in there. Because uh, the Mob Crusher gives you more essence than what the Mob Spawner takes to spawn one. Which I think is probably not the way it's supposed to work. But for example, if I quickly run in here and swap out with the Enderman one. The Endermen take more essence to spawn than you get back, so eventually it'll run out. Right, so you can see it's going down already. Uh, and that's what this little room here is for on my, my mob spawner. There's another mob crusher over there, so if I turn this one off, mobs will start to spawn in here, and that mob crusher will create the essence that the mob spawner over here can use to spawn Endermen. So I have an endless supply of uh, Endermen and Ender Pearls and everything that I need 
any any sort of mob drop, I just have to grab one of these guys, and now I have an infinite amount. It's really cool. I think in the last video, actually, was when I was playing around with the pink slime, wasn't it? And that was, now that I have the pink slime mob imprisonment tool, I don't have to worry about making my own pink slimes anymore. So, let me show you what else I was working on. Oh, actually, down here. This is my, like, other random machines part. You kind of saw this before when I was going around, but I have uh, some other random machines that I've built. Uh, I forget what that one makes. Some other... So, I've kind of slowly been putting uh, the ender conduits to replace these universal cables, uh, but it's not... It takes a while. Um, so, I have over here my uh, reactor from Mechanism. It's actually generating tons and tons of power, way more power than I could ever possibly use uh, I think I think I was yeah I, I showed you this in the last video too so I have a uh, my uh, what are this capacitor bank storing all my power I have one of these dimensional transceivers now which I haven't actually used anywhere else it's still everything is just cables everywhere um, I've also built this um, extreme reactors reactor but not for any like power generation reason it's because I need the cyan the what is this thing called? Cyan, cyan something. Cyan, no, no, I forget. Something ingot. Yeah, this thing, cyanite ingot. So this thing produces cyanite ingot, and as far as I can tell, there's no other way in this mod pack to get it, except to use it in a reactor. Uh, you can get it from cyanite dust, but you get that from crushing cyanite ingots. So that's the only reason I have this extreme reactor is to make cyanide. Uh, what else have I been doing? Oh yes, that's where we get back to my... Uh, so I have this personal charger now, which is what's charging up my jetpack. Oh, that's the other thing I have. Quantum suit jetpack. It's like super fast, so I can like, when I run, I get super fast running speed. I have um, a jetpack, which is really cool. And I have no fall damage, so when I go down, no fall damage. Um, the only downside is uh, I, I haven't been able to get the... So, apparently, uh, this thing over here, what is it called? The chemical reactor from Advanced Rocketry. Apparently, you can um, enchant your armor to have airtight mods, which... Uh, I have seen, so if I go to like chemical reactor, right, and then if I find my armor, it's like here, there. So if I have a, my quantum suit body armor, I have a diamond, and I have a super high pressure tank, all of which is easy enough to make, I'm supposed to get um, quantum suit body armor with airtight enchantment, which means it doesn't like... I can go in space in it, but it doesn't seem to actually work. It's it's the same. It doesn't have any enchantments on it, and none of the armor does. So I think that's a bug in the mod. Anyway, that's fine because I can still put on. Uh, if I just take that one off and I put this one on, this is my space suit, which is has a kind of annoying GUI. But if I stand over these charge pads, you can see my O2 level go up, and over here, my H2 level go up. H2 is what gives me a jetpack, and uh, these all have mods. If you look uh, here in the in this right thingy over here, uh, whoops, um, these are like the mods that you have in your armor suit. So it has its own like fast running thing, but it's got this weird like wobble when you start and stop. Ready? Watch when I start running, it goes whoop whoop, and then when I stop, it goes whoop whoop again. It's really weird. So it's kind of disorienting when I use it. So I don't really like using it all that much. Um, but what I will do, I'll show you. So um, if you remember in the last episode, I was just setting up these guys to take me to the end. Well, I've gone kind of crazy with them. And I have like, every time I go to a new planet in space, um, I, I build a new one of these. So I can go straight to my space station just by teleporting to it. Whoop. This is my space station. We're currently orbiting... Uh, what are we orbiting now? Titan. Which I was using to mine 
whatever you get from Titan, I can't even remember. Um, out here is my rocket, which I can use to get to the planet surface. It's got quite a bit of fuel, so actually let's let's head down to Titan. Takes a little while. So let's have a look. This is me shooting off into into space. <laughs> Hello, I'm in my spaceship. This is my very spa safe and and aerodynamic spaceship. <laughs> and the terrain will load and then I'll start to descend. Oh, is it night time? Yeah, it's night time. That means there'll be lots of mobs down there. Which is kind of funny in itself. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's go back into first person mode. Because the mobs, uh, they for some reason, they spawn, but then none of them have any oxygen, so they're always like forever taking damage. Oh wait, no, this is a moon, so it doesn't have, only, only the planets have mobs, the moons don't. So you can see there's like not much gravity. Oh, and of course I have a jetpack so I can go really high. <laughs> uh, but these are kind of boring, except for um, mining, which I used to use the digital miner for anyway. But of course I can just go straight back here to my base because I have a teleporter. Uh, and I'm going to take off this armor and put my normal armor back on because the GUI is kind of annoying. All right, so that's where we're at. Uh, let me show you what I've done in the quests. I've done quite a lot. I've almost finished all of the harvest quests. This is a awakened sharpening kit, which means I need um, awakened cores, which I don't have yet. Do I have to do the ritual? I think you do have to do the ritual. Oh no, this one can. This one can do it with a uh, fusion crafting. Yeah. But, but making draconic cores even is pretty hard for me at the moment. I have um, a recipe, but I don't think I... Oh, I can make one. Let's start that one off. I think I haven't even opened the draconic evolution. That'll be my last gate that I open before I can get to bragging rights. So I've finished a lot of the stuff. I haven't finished everything. I haven't like completely finished it all. There's still a couple of random bits and pieces, but I've done... So like this stuff here, I wasn't really interested in doing because I don't want that power. I wanted the, <laughs> I wanted the big one, the the reactors, uh, Thorncraft. I'm not particularly a fan of these magic mods. Uh, extra utilities, I've done hardly anything in because this is all like pretty tedious, I think. But I, I think I'll need it when I get to the end game anyway. We'll, I'll worry about it then. Mechanism, I've done a fair bit. Actually, additions, I haven't done all that much. Uh, I've done, actually, I've done a lot of those. Why haven't I got these quests done? I should have almost all of these, I think. Yeah. There we go. In, in fact, oops, there we go. I even have this one done too. Detect. Detect. Hey, there we go. A bunch of stuff already done. Uh, I haven't done all, any of these yet. No. Uh, industrial foregoing. I haven't done much of that. So I've done like all these ones where I, the machines that I need, I've done. <laughs> um, but Tanya, there's still a lot to do. Blood magic is another one that I'm not that interested in. RF tools. I haven't done the too, too much in. I've done all the stuff to get like the matter, whatever's. Nuclear craft, a bit more to do. Thermal expansion, advanced rocketry, I've done quite a bit of. I haven't gone, so this basically means to get these ones, I basically have to go to various different planets. I haven't gone to them all yet. Environmental tech is one that I've just started getting into. This void ore miner is super expensive, even like T1. Ender IO, I've kind of started as well. Draconic evolution, I haven't opened up yet, and obviously bragging rights, not yet either. Um, so let's open up some of these loot things, the sandwich. So I like the food because the food is actually kind of useful. <laughs> um, like these ones are kind of pointless. Pistons a bit pointless. Um, this one doesn't do anything. I've already upgraded my inventory as much as you can. Ice is boring. Cup of coffee, no effects. 
I haven't I haven't got into the coffee stuff yet either, but Alright, that was something. This is for the void miner. Uh is my Oh, my draconic core is finished. Yay! And that should quest complete. There we go. I've opened up draconic evolution. Oh wait, which one gates? So what do I need to open up this? Ultimate crafting table, tier four. That's actually pretty hard. <laughs> I, I built this uh, tier one on no, that basic crafting table, which is like the tier one, right? Craft, oops, wait. Crafting table. What do you need to make the test tier three, tier four? Whoa, yeah, look at that. <laughs> Uh, and that takes the tier three, which I need the tier two one to make. What does that say? Requires a tier two table. Yes. And the tier two requires a tier one table and all these extra bits and pieces. Whew. It's probably not that hard, actually. There's just a lot of tedious stuff. Demonically gargantuan drum. Hmm. Oh, and I got some more draconic cores, too. Um, so the other thing that I was getting into was Void Miner. There it is, Void Ore Miner, I should say. And this one takes a lot of stuff too, so... Uh, I started I started running low on iron ingots. I had to add a whole bunch of recipes to like build these empowered whatever crystals. Uh, what else am I missing? Uh, uranium Ore. Available one, missing one. Oh, I've been putting all my uranium into that reactor. Maybe I shouldn't do that. I need some more mana diamonds, iridium shards. Oh, I can go get some of those from that thing that I was looking at. Lithium dust and rubies. So, ru yeah, okay. There's a few ways I can get rubies. Uh, so one of the things I was doing was extending my seed farm over here. <clears throat> what did I add? Glowstone seeds. So actually, did I build my... I had some end... Oh no, I was going to make end seeds. So I can start like... So, okay, I'll show you. If you get crushed end stone... Yeah, where's a crusher? Crusher. Uh, where do you, wait, what? <clears throat> what am I looking for? Crusher. Pulverizer, there you go, you get crushed end stone, and from a crushed end stone you can sieve with a diamond thingy, and that's how you get like rubies and peri peridot, topaz, ten. that's how you, it's an easy way of getting all the crystals, otherwise you got to get like ruby seeds to get rubies, and peridot seeds to get peridots, so my plan was to get uh, end seeds, which are these guys. Uh, that's pretty easy to do. It's just in a normal crafting table. Um, I've got all the stuff for making. So I went to... You can go to one of the planets and that gives you prosperity ore. So I got tons of prosperity ore so I can make lots of prosperity seeds. So um, tier 4 crafting seed. It should be pretty easy to make. There we go. And what else did you need? Uh, end seed. I needed... Uh, Supremium Essence. So I can make those pretty easily. It's going to make me four anyway. Uh, and I needed the end. Wait, what did I need? These, these are like weird things. End cluster. Purple block. Which I think I have now. I just went to the end. Alright, and I'm presuming that I can uh, chisel these up into the other shapes. Yes. Alrighty, there we go. So that'll give me that. I need four of those. And then, uh, let me see. Which way did it go? Like that. Okay. And uh, let me get rid of that. Whatever. Uh, dirt. I go shove that into. Wait, should, what else can you make with end essence? Anything else? Uh, end 
essence. Wait, what? No, that's the one. Right click. I can make end stone, I can make purple blocks, and I can make chorus fruit. And I can make the next tier. Alright, so what I'll do is I'll do it on this side because I have it set up. So, oh wait, no, I don't think I have enough space in here anymore. Yeah, that one's all full. Alright, so what I'll do instead of that, get rid of that. I'm going to have to build another crafter. Tier 3. Why not? Next, come on. What's going on? Why can't I click next? That's weird. Can I make anything else? Hmm. All right, I just restarted my game and uh, now it seems to be working. Sometimes that's what happens with uh, modern Minecraft. It's never perfect. Um, all right, so what are we doing? Yes, let's go back out here. Have a look. Uh, we were adding a crafting. Yes, let's see. Is it finished yet? No. So while we wait for that, let's uh, get this guy planted and you can start building some end essence. So these, these cloches are like so OP. Look how fast everything grows. It's ridiculous. <laughs> so we've already got some end essence there. So let's go. All right, there's our crafter all done. And I'm basically gonna do the same as what I did on that side. But we have to be a little bit tricky. So uh, I'm gonna need some more conduits. Oh, what, did, yeah, what happened there? That was weird. Okay, so I'm gonna put that so that these ones here will just come out with green and they'll go straight into the chest. Uh, and this one can be insert and it can be purple. And this extract from the app. Oh, how come redstone went in there? A nether essence. Where did that come from? So I think I have nether seeds. Oh, that's weird. I must, maybe it's before I changed it to purple. Um, so actually, I have lots of like redstone essence. Oh wait, no I don't. I must be auto crafting the redstone. Do I have lots of nether essence? Mm, no, not that much. Okay, so they must be auto crafting somehow. How are they auto crafting? Not in that one, are they? Oh yeah, redstone. But what about the, oh, do I not have nether essence? Yeah, I do. Where is that going? It's definitely going there. I must be auto crafting somehow. Oh yeah. It's going up. I'm stupid. I just installed the nether essence like <laughs> just before I started recording this. Okay, that's why there's not much of that. So actually we should probably auto craft. Wait, no. Nether essence can build a few things, right? There's like nether rack soul sand nether brick i don't really care about nether wart i've got heaps of nether wart uh maybe i won't auto craft this because then i can at least have both if you have a recipe in here that takes two is it smart enough i don't know doesn't matter i'm not gonna bother uh let's get some of this stuff and i'll get some more of that stuff because i'll probably need it and uh, let's put that down like, oops, like that. And then we'll put it there to give us power. All right. And then let's take, this is the end essence one. So let's, oh, what did that do? It's not what I wanted. Uh, let's extract it on purple. And then, um, why isn't it going in? Ins 
set purple. Oh wait, did I not uh, turn this one on? That's probably what I did. There we go. All right, so now it should be going in. Okay, we got plenty. So let's start making. Was it like that? Yes. Uh, and I didn't care about any of the others, right? So let's do that. And there we go. And it should start going out just like that. All right. We've got plenty of end stone now. Uh, this one is on like super fast mode, isn't it? This one doesn't need to be because I don't think it will get that much. All right. I think that's good. So then... We want to come over here and get our crushed end stone. So I have, so what I've been doing is just like randomly crushing end stone and shoving it in there every now and then. But I have over here uh, a pulverizer, which is like upgraded a bit. And then it goes into here. So we should be able to get, if we can export our end stone to here. I want to make sure that we at least have some left over though. How can I make sure we don't just dump it all in here? I wonder if it'll just... All right, well, we'll see how we go. All right, so uh, I have some stuff down here. Okay, I think, I think there should be enough channels. We'll see. So let's grab some uh, any cable and uh, any export and uh, we don't need a crafting all right so that's all we need oh and i get some uh end stone okay and actually the export bus i guess if the export bus is just slow enough that it doesn't really matter maybe <laughs> uh there and there that and export that stuff and then let's see does it have a channel missing 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 uh, there we go so um i guess so this one actually comes down to two places one is down here for these eggs to come out so still has a channel and one of them is for this thing which whoa I should probably turn that off <laughs> uh, so this is a uh, I've got a redstone clock and a um, dropper and it's supposed to like feed all these guys so that they can feed the the mana pools but then when the mana pools fill up they stop eating and then the I just get lots of coal building up coal 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 what did I say uh, Alright, anywho, so let's see, that should be working, yes. It goes like, as fast as this export bus can export it, that's how fast, this thing is slightly faster. Alright, and then we got crushed end stone going in here, heaps of it. And so we have our emeralds and whatever, topazes and sapphires coming out. And then they go into this chest along with everything else. And then it goes into the system from there. So I have this like induction furnace, which is actually kind of slow, but the more these things build up, the, the hotter it gets. Um, this is just not that fast actually. So yeah, I have all these, these things being sifted and crafted and then melted and then put into the ME system from there. That, that was how I was getting iron for a, a long time. Uh, but then I made some iron seeds and I'm getting a lot more now. All right, so how are we going with all the stuff that we need? What else did I need to get for the void or miner? I only needed, still need another 287 iron ingots, 72 rubies. Oh, I can quickly grab some iridium shards because that's what we were making in that. Uh, which one? This one? Yes. Was that iridium? Yes. And this um, 
this quantum suit also makes me invulnerable to radiation. So this takes a long time to make stuff. Uh, but I don't want to make it constantly because it uses a lot of power too. Even though I have way more power than I'll ever need at the moment. Uh, Alright, so is that enough iridium shards for now? Yes. Uh, lithium dust. Mana diamonds. Alright, so diamonds are pretty easy. I've got plenty of diamonds. Well, not that much. Enough. Let's, oh, I ran out of food. Okay, so let's put some stuff back up in my extra thing here. And uh, how are we doing for nutrition? I'll get some apples. Alright, so diamonds. Whoops. Missed. There we go. There's a stack of mana diamonds. And uh, lithium dust as well. How do I make lithium dust? I don't have a recipe, so I have, oh, not dilithium, lithium ore, oh, well, that's easy, all right, let's quickly shove a recipe for lithium dust in then, uh, so that'll make lithium ore, uh, throw that in one of our molecular assemblers, and then we take lithium ore and smelt it. So let's grab our redstone furnace. Oh wait, I think I already have, hang on, hang on, hang on. That's not what I wanted to do. That'll make a lithium ingot. What I want is to enrich it. That should give us lithium, two lithium dusts. Yes. Okay, so. One and whoops, there, and that'll give us two lithium dusts there, and we shove that in our enrichment chamber. Oh, I run out of space. All right, so now I think it's just a matter of waiting. That one is being made. These ones are being sifted slowly. Uh, and I think that should be it. Man, these are expensive. Oh, uranium ore. Uh, that's probably easy with the digital miner. Uh, but it's not. Time. All right, so I might come back in a minute once I have enough. So once I let the Rubies, yeah, see, I've got 100 now. <laughs> once they build up, and uh, once the iron builds up, um, I just recently added a, an iron seed plant. So we should be getting heaps of iron. Um, and then I'll go take the digital miner down and get some more uranium. In fact, let's have a look. Uh, let's have a look. What? Where's the config button? Oh yeah, that's another thing that happens sometimes. This thing goes a bit weird. Uh, oh, I have a config button. Okay. Let's go. Uranium. Anything? And let's see if there's any right here. Probably not. Oh, there is. Hey, there we go. Um, uh, I can just put that there for now. Oh wait, no? I know I can put it on that side. There we go. Alright, so now we have the uranium that we need. Um, oh, I might have to go turn off the reactor downstairs because that's taking our uranium. Alright, I'll do that and I'll wait for the iron and the rubies to build up and then we'll come back. Alright, the... The void miner up there is it's uh, crafting away. It's going to take a ridiculously long time though. Like I think it's going to take even longer than that <laughs> because it's got all these like empowered uh, crystals to make like 144 empowered restonia crystals and 36 palace crystals and 36 emiratic crystals. 
And if you look at the recipe for this, right, uh, empowered. Um, so this one, you got to do it in the empowerer. Well, actually, there's other ways you can do it, but at the moment, I'm doing it in the empowerer. And this thing is like not the fastest thing in the world. So this is it over here. And yeah, so that's how long it takes to do, wait, that's how, this is how long it takes to do one, all right? Do, 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 there. And it's got to do like 200 of them at least. Oh, whoops. Where did I pick up? Where did I get that from? I right clicked on that. Oh, I think it got confused with the bone blocks there. Yeah. Oops. Okay, I shouldn't have picked that up. <laughs> oh, now it's definitely confused. Oh dear. Alright, anyway, I'm going to try and fix this, and um, I'll probably cut the video, and, like, we'll wait until it's totally finished before I come back again. Oh, we're so close. Seems to have got stuck on this one here, Litherite Crystal. We made all these, we made, well, we actually made hundreds of those, but it's, like, getting towards the end. So wait, litherite crystal, that's made like, uh, in this thing, and then this thing, fluid transfers, oh, uh, there's supposed to be enderium in there, okay, uh, how do we get some enderium going, it's supposed to be, hmm, it's a bit weird because it's like one ingot of enderium, Per two of those crystals of those uh, these terrestrial artifacts equals two of these things so yeah uh, the other thing I was doing is uh, I wanted to upgrade some of my other machines because they're really slow uh, I've been waiting for like an hour here it's been crazy slow so let's grab those but I'll just do this bit first Ooh. I love being able to run so fast. Um, I'll put you there. I should melt and then there. Okay. And there. And is it going to melt another one? It's not. Whoa! All right. <laughs> That's what happened there. So why isn't the Enderium going into here. That's a bit weird. Uh, oh, is that on extract? Is that why? Oh. Alright, so let me just take one of these out. Uh, because I put an extra one in. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now I think it should be working. Let's have a look. Crafting 29, 28. Okay, I think it's slowly going to work. While I'm... Whoa! While I'm waiting for that, let me just upgrade this uh, redstone furnace because it's very slow. Uh, what's the next level? Is it this one or the orange one? That one. And then the orange one. And then that one. And then I can augment it with these guys. All right. So that'll be faster the next time around. Okay, let's see. How are we going here now? One more. And then... It should all just go whoop and make it. Oh, uh, oh it's got to do this thing first. It's got a... Uh, like... What is that? Infuse? No induction whatever it is there we go oh all right that's cool let's get our quest 
which one is it? Environmental tech. The void ore miner gathers materials such as iron ore, glowstone, and ET crystals from the void. Its laser needs line of sight to either bedrock or void to function. The higher the tier, the faster it runs. Certain ores can only be obtained from the highest tiers of the ore miner. Oh, it needs line of sight to bedrock. See, I was plan. Oh, ran out of food. I was planning to put it uh, just right, like right there, over there. But if it needs line of sight to bedrock, I can probably do that. Shouldn't be too hard to dig down to bedrock. Let's do that. Down to bedrock we go. I'm going to turn off that because that animation means I can't see what's going on so much. And let's just hope <laughs> we don't. Oh, yeah. See. Okay, that's just that's from a, a crystal thingy that I have that puts light in dark places. Yes, it gets a bit scary because I keep thinking that that light is like from lava. But that's okay because this armor has. Uh, whoa. This armor has. I can hear lava. Look at the map. This is from using the digital miner. <laughs> it just mines out all the the ores. I can hear lava. Is it below me or next to me? It's getting louder. Oh, bedrock. Okay. So, let's uh, put that there. I have no idea how this works. I'm just making it up as I go along. So then you go like that, and then you click on it with this, apparently. Oh. oh! Is that it? Does it need power, or...? Is that all I had to do? Let's find out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It does say it needs power. Does this? Oh. Uh, okay. Twenty-four structure frame tier one or about what? Twenty-four. These were so expensive to make. Okay. Twenty structure panels. One laser core. One laser lens of any type. So wow. Alright, I need a whole bunch more structure frames because those were kind of expensive. Structure frame. What did I need to make them? No, let's try and make exactly 24. So I don't have chiseled quartz, that's fine. More rubies. More ardite. Which I get from endstone. Alright, I got a lot more work to do. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say goodbye then, and um, hopefully by the next video I'll have a couple of tiers of this already done, and we should be a lot closer to getting to getting to the bragging rights. Uh, oh, I can already do this? Are they unlocked for me? I haven't opened up the gate yet. Alright, anyway. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!